Alright guys, so let's get started. Um, so last night I decided to just put some hair elastics on the end of my hair and then tuck under the ends with the hair elastic. Now you can do this with um, rollers also. Um, you could even just do a bantu knot at the ends of your hair. But that'll give you a curlier look. I just wanted a straighter look. And I didn't feel like putting rollers on the ends of my hair. So I did it. Well, anyways, you're just going to untwist. It's really easy to do the, to take these things down. This is also one of the many ways that you can do um, a twist out, let alone... Or no, what am I saying? This is one of the many ways that you can do the um, the corn row or twist row, twist out, or some people call it, you know, the two-strand flat twist out. This is one of the many ways that you can do it, let alone do a twist out to begin with. That's, there's so many different things you can ways you can do it. So I'm just kind of unraveling. You want to be really careful because when you do like a cornrow kind of out style, the whole point of the matter is you want to be very, very careful. This is not like a bantu knot out where it's like um, you can just unravel and pull apart. This you have to be very careful when you're unraveling it because if you are really rough with it when you're unraveling and not delicate and separating what wants to be separated, then you're going to actually end up making your hair really frizzy. And that would be very cute. So think about that. We're just unraveling. Next you want to just get pieces of the, the chunky pieces and kind of separate them. The good thing about the twist out is that because it's just a wave and not really a curl, you can actually comb it with like a big wide tooth comb. I mean obviously it'll get, you know, bigger and bigger, but like you can comb it and it won't be like huge nasty fro. So if this is like too flat for you, feel free to, to either separate more with your fingers by raking your fingers through or get a wide tooth comb and separate. But understand that once you separate one area, it's not going to go back. So be very careful and choose wisely when you're separating. I know this is looking really crazy right now, but it will be big, believe me. And again, you really want to position your when you do when you put them in to begin with. You want to position them in some place that um, when you're styling, it's not going to cause any complications. I actually have a very specific style for this today, which is why you know I decided to just do a straight in the middle part. But anyways, after that, once you've gotten your hair separated as much as you want, go ahead and take your hands underneath. Shake your roots. This will help kind of give you some volume and it'll help separating the hair a little bit more and it helps them to um have your parts show less. Because I hate parts. Like That's the only thing I don't like about doing these styles is I hate to see the parts. I'm just going to shake, shake, shake. Take my glasses off, you guys. All right, next you want to do is take your head and just shake it like this. Shake it side to side, back and forth. This will help separate and it will also help your hair kind of fall where it needs to fall. Now what I'm doing is taking my hand, shaking downward. This will help reduce some bulk. The shake downward. You can drag your fingers down the roots as you go. So help. You know, sometimes when you shake upwards, it gives you a little bit too much volume. This will help kind of take down some of that bulk. All right, now what you want to do next is fiddle and twerk and move around until you get the style that you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back and show you guys my finished look. All right, you guys, so this is just my finished look. Very simple. You don't have to necessarily style yours like I styled mine. You don't have to have it going to the side. You don't have to really... You can have you, you can keep the middle part if you wanted. You can pretty much do whatever you want with this. So that's it. All right. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.